So I want you to meet the Yarbroughs. This is April and Rondell, R-O-N-D-E-L. I always have the hardest time remembering his name for whatever reason. I don't know why. I, 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 have, I keep calling him everything but his real name, but it's Rondell. Very unique name. It's a very unique couple, too. They have a travel and lifestyle channel here on YouTube. They have 40,000 subscribers, and their channel is called The Yarbroughs. Uh, please go sign up with them, or, or go watch their channel, go to their channel, subscribe, and, and watch their videos. They're very good. They're, they're a lot like me. They're a no BS couple YouTube creator. They tell it like it is, and their, their energy is outrageous. It's amazing, and they, they are very truthful, and they're fun to watch. They're entertaining. And I think you'll agree when you listen to him, April has the most amazing voice for a video. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So please, watch this video. This is what we did this morning on the beach. And then please, go to the channel and subscribe. Okay? Thanks. Hey! Hello there. So I'm standing down here on the plaza here, Plaza Mer Plaza El Mesialago. And I said I pronounced that correctly, folks. Mesialago. Matisialago. But anyway, you see it's a beautiful day here. And I came down here to try to get some privacy and everything. But you never know who you're going to run into when you're out trying to do YouTube videos. I like to promote other YouTubers. As everybody knows, there's several that I promote. And there's some that I, I don't promote. And I think you know who those are too. If you've never met the Yarbroughs, you, you haven't lived. And you would never guess who's holding my camera right now. Give me my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to meet the Yarbroughs. Hey, what's poppin' people? We hope life is good to you. This is April, this is April right here. Yeah, that's, <laughs> and that's this is Rondell. <laughs> so what's going I, on, Don? I, not much. I ran into these guys. I, I heard that one of my other YouTubers told me that you guys were coming to to Monta. You're going to be here for a month. Yep. I watched your videos. I've been a subscriber for a while. I don't know exactly when, but it's been a while. And I said, sure, I'm going to watch it. And then when I found out that you were here, I said, I'm going to get in touch with these guys and see if they would give me enough time oh, to do yeah, a little short You're video. Don? You know? How yeah. could we not? <laughs> yeah, I know. So, so you've been here for how many, two weeks now? We've been here probably a total of a month. Yeah, about a month already, yeah. yeah. What do you think? We what like do we it. think? Tell us the truth. Well, I'm going to say, out of all the places we've been, we're loving the weather here the most. Preach, man. The weather here is so freaking gorgeous. I think these guys get like 300 days of sunshine. We've only had maybe two dreary days the entire time we've been here. So. Really? Really? Thumbs yeah. up to the weather. Look, thumbs up to the people. I just we're, really appreciate it. I don't have to wear any sweaters down here. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, gorgeous. you don't. I mean, supposedly we're in our winter months right now, but we're getting close to December is going to be here, you know. And, and then it'll be humid, you know. But if you look at this, look how beautiful it is. People say yeah. that we have an ugly beach, but it's it's not an ugly beach. We so, don't need that. No, where were you before you came here? Where What was your last destination? Oh, Salinas. 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 Yeah. But I mean before Ecuador. Oh, before Ecuador. Colombia. 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 Before yeah. Colombia. Um, Panama. 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 Before Panama. Um, then, you know, Central yeah, so America. where is home? Costa Rica. Home, I mean, home is where your heart is, but where That's did right. you start? I mean, well, that, we've I mean, been on the road for the last six years, five years, five or six five years. years. Like literally, we don't have a home. We don't have, so we're homeless we, people. If we go we back to our home country. Home countries. Yeah, we'll stay with family or get an Airbnb or something. But what city yeah. were you born in? I was born in Tampa, Florida. All right, I was yeah. born in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, but we've been everywhere. We you know I, I've spent last like. 17 years of my life in Kalamazoo, Michigan before yeah. getting on the road. Mm -hmm. um, and I was in Orlando, Florida for 10 years before moving up to Michigan. Yeah. Now, oh, are you Michigan. working? Do you, do you guys, oh, yeah. are you working oh, yeah. a, a, oh, yeah. a regular full-time job? So. If that's what you want to call it, man. I was I was searching for myself. I uh, graduated with a supply management degree, worked for various different corporations, um, worked for Kellogg's as an industrial engineer, worked for Stryker as a buyer, ended up going non-profit because I really hated corporate America. Yeah. And eventually, <laughs> we ended up just leaving the country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
That's actually how we met. We met. Uh, I was working at a nonprofit, and I was also working at a nonprofit. And there was a conference in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. We met over good food. So, okay. uh, when did you start doing all this traveling? This has got to be tiring. Oh, okay, it's energizing so actually. But go I ahead. think the full time traveling can be tiring at times, but we started when we met. Yep. Uh, yep. Even though he was living in Michigan, I was living in Florida, we would spend all of our PTO and holidays mm -hmm. meeting up with each other, his state, my state, or somewhere international. Mm -hmm. First Canada, then Mexico, then Paris, then Italy. What yes. gave you the idea to do this though? I mean, how did you? Let's go to South America. You know? well, it's always been on my heart since I was a kid. Really? I always wanted to travel. And I've yeah. always loved traveling as well. And I was yeah. really curious about like what it would be like to live in a different country for several years. <laughs> yeah. Real talk. Prerequisite for my wife. And I was out hunting for a wife, you guys. I was yeah. out stalking son, stalking yeah. me a wife. She had to have a passport. Yeah. I knew yeah. when I met her she had to have a passport and my wife. I didn't know at the time that she so, had a passport, but she had a passport. So do you have a, a visa for for any of these countries here or Long, biggest long-term visa we had was China. Yeah, so we now we're traveling on tourist permits, essentially okay. when we go to a country. But the only time we've ever needed a visa is if that country required it of Americans. That okay, were like Vietnam, Vietnam, or stuff like and that. then living yeah. in China. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you have your own channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's it called? The Yarn Bros. 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 And in case anybody doesn't know, I know that you have over forty thousand subscribers. See? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. We're trying to grow. We're trying to get the 50k. Yeah. 50K. There you go. 50k. <laughs> 50K. We're gonna see what we can do to help you get there because we, we want to do cool. that. You know, it's like I I think that I, I've watched a lot of your videos and I really appreciate the the, the way you do your videos and that you're, you're genuine. You can't be any more genuine than you are. We've watched your videos and likewise, we appreciate just the authenticity of it all. You know, a Thank lot of you. enough people doing stuff that's not realistic. We're trying to show the world what travel looks like, real time, real people, just yeah. doing what we can do yeah. and enjoying where we are. Do you ever get tired of doing this? Think you want to go back to the States or anywhere? Or? And just like settle down for a while no no i think i think we like what we're doing yeah. the only thing that gets a little tiring is if we have to depend too much on the youtube channel to make an income right now. <laughs> yeah. right right yeah. right you know then it's like it becomes more work and yeah. play. so how can we help you out you, you you're, are you on patreon we're on patreon yeah, we're on we patreon. Have a patreon. Yeah, buy me a coffee for sure patreon yeah. is it patreon the yeah, slash the yard bros yeah patreon yeah. slash the yard bros and what's cool there is we're trying to build a community where we can share some things that don't make it to the channel things that are exclusive to that community so mm -hmm. we'll create digital products and courses that they have access to for right free. our yeah. heart's desire is to make traveling the world easier for other people so we're creating content mm -hmm. creating classes and everything else to help people see that living abroad is doable you don't yes. have to be filthy rich rolling around and don't to do it right um, and we'll show you the way so yeah. you know I'm going to I'm obviously going to put all the information I can about you in the description appreciate it and you can see right here folks I'm well they don't see me but right here is where <laughs> I'm gonna put yeah the name of your channel we want to help promote you and support you as much as possible I like the message that you're delivering I like the way you do it and we we support you a hundred percent Oh, I, man. I have a, a completely I'm over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a completely different demographic than you do. You guys cater to the younger crowd as well as some of my crowd. Mm -hmm. I cater to the older crowd, so we want to bring the best of both worlds together. I love it. You know, it's and we yeah, want everybody thing. to see everybody's. Show. I, I, I promote all hey, the good ones. All it's all love. love, sincerely, all man. Love. Out here traveling the world, one thing that we see as a constant denominator is community and love. So. Yeah. Where are you going next? We're headed to. Now, we heard the food was really good. We heard Everyone the ceviche was awesome. You so want we are, Do you know what city you're gonna? Uh, we are going to arrive. We're gonna go to Tumbes for, for a hot night, second. But we're gonna head over to Lima. Okay, and in Lima, we're gonna explore all of Peru. How are you gonna get there? Well, we're taking a bus. Blue sky. Yeah, we're gonna take a bus from Mount Manta to yeah. Tumbes essentially, and then from Tumbes take a flight to Lima. Okay, to Lima. Is yeah, Lima? that's one thing about that I don't like about Ecuador is how much the flights cost to get out of Ecuador. <laughs> My God. That's true. I mean, we looked at the route from really? Manta to Lima and it was 27 hours by bus. Wow. So we thought, okay, <laughs> I didn't realize it was that long. So, so can I ask you how much the, the flights are? What are we talking about? So the flight, 
let's say you just have your a carry on. Yeah. Okay. We found flights for as cheap as twenty dollars. Okay. But what I'm normally seeing is between fifty or sixty dollars from Tumbes to Lima. And that's Tumbe to Lima. Okay. From here to Lima is more in the lines of about four hundred dollars. Really? And uh, per person, that ain't happening for us. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. It's a lot more than that to go to the United States. Yeah. So, really? Oh no, yeah. Man, yeah. I flights. heard some somebody the other day. I saw somebody on Facebook say some. 2400 bucks for her oh and her husband. And, oh. <laughs> yeah, it was ridiculous. They had some multiple stops and it was, oh. it was terrible. It was terrible. So, how far ahead do you plan your travels? Or are you just kind of just winging it? I no, mean, it's you're funny. saying, okay, we're here, so it depends let's go. on the season of our lives. But right now, it's a lot of winging it. We have an idea. I don't idea think so. I don't what think we, so. I, I, we knew we were coming here uh, yeah. four months ago, mm -hmm. just like we know where we're going to be in two months. So, we don't necessarily have it have the tickets purchased but we yeah. know the route that we're traveling yeah. yeah yeah so do you stay in hostels or how, where do you do you try to find airbnbs or what where do you stay generally speaking we like so our channel is all about slow travel we want to absorb the culture and share the culture with people who watch our channel you know i just want to show you constant travel and yeah. all the food and beaches we want to show you like the authenticity we want to show you the the fruit market the local yeah. markets where the people eat at so we try to stay every place for at least a month mm -hmm. um, and we generally arrive, get an Airbnb mm -hmm. and then we try to negotiate a price for a month someplace. Yeah. If that's either looking in the, in the, in the, I guess the equivalent of classified ads yeah. Yeah. or going through a realtor or just looking at Airbnb for a month if we can cut a good deal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, uh, without saying, talking about Monta, mm -hmm. so far, what's been your favorite spot? Not, not counting Monta, let's say before Monta. Before in Monta. Ecuador? Anywhere. Or anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Where's been your favorite? Oh, geez, Where did man. you go? Oh my God, okay. I love yeah. it. I got three countries. You got yours? I'm going to name a city. Gonna, oh, you want to do city okay. or country? Yeah. City? So before Monta, um, my favorite place that we've been to so far has been Florence. Florence, oh, yeah. Damn. Florence, right. yeah, facts. The, my favorite place that we have lived. Okay. That we have lived. Man, I want it's Guadalajara or Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. Really? Wow. He's having oh, a I'm gonna deep say battle in his head right now. It, it would be Chiang Mai easy if their immigration process was 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 better. Yes, do, but yeah. Mexico makes it so easy for you. So yeah. I'm gonna say uh, Guadalajara. Okay. Guadalajara. Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people in Guadalajara. So, as far as Monte is concerned, with one word, what would you say about Monte? What do you think? Good or bad? Good. Good. Yeah. I might good. Want to the weather. I would say good. I want, I want good. to balance everything out. Yeah. Um, it's good. One word I'll say. I'll say yeah. But I, I think it's a little bit touristy. I think it's yeah. a little bit touristy. A little touristy yeah. yeah. It is very much a tourist city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For, for sure. sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen. I, will, I want to wish you the best of luck. I, I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to meet you and, and talk to you. And you've joined Likewise. me for breakfast. and. Look. It's been the pleasure's been all mine. You ain't been to Monts unless you hung out with Don. Everybody That's knows right. this guy. That's right. I run, I run into people all the time. So <laughs> I, I'm here for my channel, I'll tell you. But I'm looking forward to running into you again and finding out more about your travels. And everybody, please go to their channel, subscribe to them. It doesn't cost you anything. Go to subscribe. Join on Patreon and give them a cup of coffee. Come on and that's, hang out with the family, they, guys. That's how they make it. They, it's expensive to do this, and it takes a little bit of money to, you know, to be able to pay for it. And we can, I wish I could we can like, all no, use, stop, don't do that, but yeah, please do that. We, we can all use all the help we can get. Definitely, <laughs> so. we appreciate it all. Okay, all right, I will see you later. Good Thanks luck to you. Bye, Don. Bye-bye. So that's it. That's the, the, the Yarbrough's. Uh, fantastic couple. High energy, this is, I mean, they're just fantastic people. I just don't know what else to say, you know, about them. I wish I could say that about all of our YouTube creators, but unfortunately, I, you know, I just, I, I can't. I, I feel so lucky because I've met some really great creators here in Ecuador. Captain Joseph up in Cuenca. GM Ace, who's over, I haven't met him in person yet, we're going to get together one of these days. He's over in Puerto Viejo, high energy, super honest, great entertainer, great great person to watch. And then, of course, the Yarbrough's here. And I think you'll agree with me if you go 
and watch some of their videos, subscribe to their channel. Let's give them some support. Okay? They travel all over. They're, they're not just about Ecuador. They've been all over the place. And you watch their channels and you'll get a, a lot of a lot of useful information. Okay? Thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like their channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, and you know how I feel about that. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys on the next one. Okay? Ciao, ciao.